This obeying by John Barry helped me be good cookie. Cool. This is a book about Annie. Reading about Annie can help you understand and deal what is with disobeying. Annie, you're not to get into the cookies. I hope you're not disobeying me. You're disobeying when you're when you do not do when you have been told to do. Your parents have good reasons for telling you what to do. This is why you should not disobey them. If you eat a cookie now, you won't get. You won't want to eat your dinner. How about just a nibble? Your parents tell you what to do because they do not want you to hurt yourself or others. Anyways, I told you not to go into the street. Screech! Your parents tell. What to do? They do not want to damage or destroy things. Ah! Uh, I told you. I told you not to play so roughly with your things. I hope she doesn't want to play with me. I, Your parents tell you what to do because they want you to be like other by other people. You won't play with me. I told you that you have to be kind with other children. You want to play with them too. With you. Hmm. So that's how it works. The parents tell you what to do because they want you to be fair. I ask you to pick up your toys. It isn't fair for you to play the toys and leave them for someone else to pick up. Sometimes you might wonder why parents get to tell them what. Get to tell their children what to do. Why do mom and dad get to boss me around? Why can't I be my own boss? Yeah, why? Just because they're bigger. Parents tell children what to do because they have lived longer and have learned more than children. Thus, parents usually know what is best for their children. Oh no, Annie! I told you not to touch the hot stove. E, ouch! Parents tell their children what to do because they are responsible for their children. Parents have to take care or the damage the children hurt themselves or others. How much owe the doctor for take care of Eddie's burn? Sometimes parents need to punish the children for disobeying. That's the purpose of punishment: is to make children feel bad about disobeying, so they not disobey again. I wish I hadn't taken my bike away. That's because I want burning in the street. When I get back now, I won't run into the street because I don't want to have to take it away. 
You can avoid being punished if you do these things. Talk to your parents. Find out what you to do. Then do it. Annie, I don't want you to eat candy for dinner. Uh oh. Chocolate. Drat. Sometimes you might not agree with your parents. Tell them how you feel. This might change their minds. If they do not change their minds, drop their subject. Now again, throwing ten drums will only frustrate it and make your parents angry. Can I eat candy? Some candy before dinner? If I eat only a little bit? No, even a little bit of candy will take away your a pain. Elena, can I see it? See appetite. Appetite for your dinner. Maybe I should hold it until after dinner. Tell the truth if you disobey. Admit that you disobey. Say sorry. I sorry and need it. Did you eat this candy? Yes. You should have let me hold it. Accept your punishment if you disobey. Do not be angry at your parents when they do punish you. Remember, it was you who disobey, not them. Try to not disobey again. Since you disobey, you will not be allowed to eat rest of the candy. Oh no. When you obey, you please your parents, and you were doing what is best of you. Hug goodbye. That's the end of the story. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye.